Hello YouTube, my name is Sigress and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create maps for CSS. So all you need is CSS and then you can get started. So to access this program you have to go to your computer, local disk and find the place where you install it, Steam and then go to the Steam apps, uh, the common, Counter-Strike source bin and you should find there we go a program called hammer.exe gonna we got yeah, we are gonna open that uh, when you're in this program it should look something like this you're going to file and new now we have four windows uh, a camera a top view side view and a front view so to create something in this program, we're gonna select the block tool here and just uh, on the top view, uh, gonna draw a box like this. I press enter to make the box. If you take, and now if you take the mouse over to the camera window, you can use the arrow keys and W, w A, S, D to move around. It's pretty laggy, it's a lot laggy. But now we created a block. Um, I'm just gonna change the texture on the block. And to do that, we are going to um, this texture thing, face edit sheet, it's called. I click the browse and just choose some sort of texture like that. Uh, if we, if you, yes, if we select the select tool and mark, select the object we created, we can go to the one of the top or front views or side and hold sh hold down shift and then drag it to the top like this and it just duplicated it and now we have a floor and a roof uh, we can do it again like this and then make it into a wall here uh, then we can from the top view just duplicate it again and again and then we make the size so it match and now we have a box um, now we can create a person by clicking this person thing I'm just gonna place it here I'm gonna take the select tool and move it around like that uh, this is a spawn point and this is for the terrorist if you want to make a counter terrorist spawn point uh, you're gonna just gonna make another one Rotate it by clicking in the middle of the object like that Click two times more to get back to the normal um, Now we're gonna double click on the person on the camera and remove the terrorist part and enter counter terrorist and click apply Now we have a CT spawn point and a T spawn point Yeah, uh, now we're gonna create a box. So I'm just gonna Take the block tool and create a box here. Make sure it's the right high, it's a little lower. And there we go. 64 x 66 x 64. And now we have a box. Um if we're gonna I'm just gonna duplicate the box like this. And to make it smaller, we can do this. So we're going to this left corner and minimize the getter. I think it's called a getter in English too. I don't know. Anyway, um, and now we can make it even smaller and create a 32x32 block like this. Duplicate it like that so we have some little, little bit sort of stairs, I guess. I'm going to do it again, duplicate this one and make it even smaller and duplicate it even more. So we got another pair of stairs and then one more time. I'm gonna use this later to show you something. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, and now we can change the texture of this object too, just so it's look a little, oh uh, no, not so, a little unique, I guess. Take a random one, looks horrible, horrible but whatever, like that. Um, another thing you can do with, if you make, oh shit, um, if you make a block, just gonna create a small one here, 
like oh shit there we go i yeah um we can take this i don't know what's called the slide tool i guess and then drags this slide icon and right now the red part will disappear if we click enter and the white will stay to change this you will have to hold down shift and press x we can make it like both parts stays only one of them i'm gonna make the corner go off and we got this object i can do the same on the other side just gonna reselect it nope and there we go and now we have this i don't know what it is thing and we can even rotate it if we no we can we can rotate it no rotate it like that and get whatever this is line it up like that and now we have it you know turn around doesn't look bad at all but anyway um you can choose use i'm just gonna create another of these uh, this tool and then you can drag different parts out like that you can even use it here pretty hard i guess um and you can go down here and uh what i'm not sure you can do that would you mind no i wouldn't what the heck anyway you can use this to make different sort of crazy things apparently i cannot do that at the moment i think i think it's because of this one i don't know how to make it disappear that's that's that's, that's kind of sucks i guess i can i can ah enter there we go and now i should be able, yeah and drag and make it's gonna select it now we made this um i'm not sure what it is but i made it um, an easy way to do things like that is just create an that was a pretty big one make a little smaller like that uh, duplicate it so it's like this and then you take the slider tool and slide the one hole oh wait wrong I'm uh, gonna slide or cut off this edge. Now we have this object. Still not sure what to use it for, but you may be able to use it. Uh, right now it's two objects and it is supposed to be one. So we can select them both both by holding control and press control G and now it's one object. You can always click control U and make it separate object again. Um, you can use that to like this if you want pretty annoying to have all eight and just grope them and voila much easier um anyway um ah, another thing you can do is create a character uh click on it go into it delete everything and insert weapon just can create an ak and uh, play place it up here like that um, right now the AK will just fall to the ground if we want it to stay in midair we can go double click on it go into flags and check in the stand constrain it I don't know if that's how to pronounce it but whatever um, and here we go uh, we have a small little extremely useless map Anyway, to um, compile this map or to test it, you can you can press F9 or go to File and Run Map. Just gonna call it to 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 map. Um, no, just set everything to normal. Don't check on HDR unless you have some sort of sun or lights. Then it can be used. Uh, if you have very big maps you can consider put it on fast if you just want to test small things 
because when you made a really big map and ha and have everything on normal it can take a good 30 to 60 minutes to load the map so if you just want to see if a block is able to jump on or something stupid like that it's not really worth 60 minutes of wait so you can just turn on fast and it will go a lot faster but uh, with this small map it doesn't change at all so I'm just going to into the map hopefully you can see in game 2 yeah it's in window so you can Okay, and here we are at extremely lag with our stupid things. But what I want to show with this is this one is the one you need to crouch to get on the 64 A high. Um, the 32, you just need a normal jump to get on. Uh, the 16, you can run, but it's a bit bumpy. And when it lag, it's insanely bombing. While uh, moving up at the 8, it's very smooth. Very, very hard to see with this lag. But if you try it yourself, you will be able to see a very big difference. So if you want to make a clean, smooth map, um, I will highly recommend making 8 instead of, you know, these. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, this is pretty much going to be it for this tutorial. Um, I'm going to make more CSS tutorials on how to create um, bisons, hostages, teleports, and other cool stuff, doors, buttons, all those things uh, in the future. So if you want to see that, uh, then subscribe. Um, if you like the video, then you know like it. And if you have any questions or problems or things like that, then make a comment. Um, we appreciate the support, so if you want to support us, you can just like and favorite and all those different stuff. And of course, again, subscribe if you want to see more. Anyway, that's going to be it for this tutorial, and we will see you next time. Or I will.